Welcome to Final Element Methods. Uh, in today's lecture, we'll be covering the course overview and what this course is about. Uh, before I continue, I'd like to dedicate this course to Professor William Klug, who is my friend and who I worked very closely for many years at UCLA. So I dedicate this course to him. And this is me, uh, I'm Vinego Yal. Uh, this is a picture of me uh, a week ago. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from the University of Puerto Rico. My first language is Spanish, I grew up there. I have a doctoral degree at Virginia Tech and I have extensive experience in structural systems, aerospace structures, design, composites, metallic designs, bolted and bonded joints, dynamics, fader modes, and I love basketball. I play basketball a lot. Uh, I like chess, hiking, beach. I like to eat different kinds of foods. I really enjoy that. And I'll try to bring some of these experiences in, in this course the best to my ability. What is the objective of this course? The objective of this course is to develop a sound understanding of the fundamental theory and mathematics of finite element methods. So this course was initially developed to be theoretically based, uh, but I've, we've extended it to really allow you to get practice using the finite element software, solving very practical and real life application problems that you may encounter in industry. And so, we have to learn a theory because that's part of this syllabus, but we're also adding a component of, of learning a software. Now, many finite element software exist, such as Abacus, ANSYS, and things like that, but we're selecting Abacus as the software for this course, and that does not mean that we have less regard for other software. It's just that this is, we had to choose one, and this is the one we chose. We want to gain uh, experience implementing finite element techniques to solve realistic modeling problems that you may encounter, not only in solid mechanics. This software will be used in this course to also learn heat transfer and many other applications potentially. But really what we're doing here is to develop that understanding of the fundamental theory. Now it's possible that you can learn the code without understanding the theory. But if you don't understand the theory, you can still play video games. I see people playing video games without understanding how the video game was put together. Sure, but if something goes wrong with a video game, you may not understand it, why that's going on. And so that's where the theory is helpful is to provide you that basis and that understanding of how things work so you can better understand your results, you can better interpret the data, and things like that. The book we're gonna be using is uh, this book that's called Solution to Engineering Problems Using Finite Element Methods, and is the book that you need to acquire for this course. All the materials for this course will be provided in briefing packages, and it will be provided uh, also through video lecturing as well as live. So the outline and theory of this course, uh, we're gonna start with, with the introduction of this course, history, motivation, and overview. We're gonna cover the basic finite element analysis phases, spring models and trust analysis. And these are covered in, extensively in the book. We'll be covering some aspects of this as we move forward. And the assembly procedure. Uh, in the finite element book that we have, we have a whole chapter on MATLAB implementation. And in the appendix, we show you how you can incorporate some of this stuff in a code. Um, we'll be providing a, a video content of how to do the same things in Abacus, which is a final element software that we have selected for this course. We're first going to cover something very fundamental to final elements, and that's the formulation approximation theory. Uh, and to do that, I have to teach you how the differential equations and partial differential equations are approximated. Because finite element analysis is an approximation technique to, to solving differential equations and partial differential equations. So we're gonna first cover the formulation and approximation theory of, of, of that. 
using finite elements. But the basis for finite elements tends to be these approximation methods you see here, which is called the strong form Galerkin, the weak form Galerkin, and the, and the Rydell rates. We'll also cover completeness and convergence. And after that, we have 1D isoparametric elements. Uh, in, uh, in the book for this course, we cover more topics so you can see more examples. Um, but we have 1D isoparametric element first discussed for bars and trusses. And I'll discuss what 1D isoparametric element formulation means. We're gonna cover Lagrange interpolation in 1D, natural coordinates, numerical integration, and applications of that in real life. Then we're gonna to move to 2D and 3D isoparametric elements. We'll cover quadrilaterals and triangles, hexahedra and tetrahedra, Gaussian quadrature, patch test, and so forth. We'll then cover what errors could happen when you do this kind of analysis, finite element analysis, what errors you could have and how to deal with them. We'll then cover special topics like buckling and stability, plate elements, axisymmetric elements, dynamics and vibrations, and then we'll cover fracture. All these topics will be covered in this course typically a course like that will be divided in two, and it will cover parts of that in part number one and parts of that in part number two. But in this course, we're bringing all that to the forefront and providing you, providing you with all the tools you need to learn um, how to do these kinds of analysis, the, the, the theory behind it. And the good news is that you get to practice your knowledge and you can apply it to uh, aircraft turbine wheels or even an aircraft wing, or buckling of a cylinder, or a composite wing, or water tank heat transfer problems. We'll be applying that knowledge to a vast majority of problems with the objective of you learning the basics of how to do the modeling, and not just the basics, but how to do the advanced modeling as well. 